Dear viewers, friends and students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Umar Sultan and you are watching Umar Piyas Academy. Today's lecture is lecture number first of Maths Tracks. And in this lecture, we are gonna tell you about a strange method of multiplication. Respected viewers, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel for watching my upcoming video. So going to start our lecture. Here, first of all, I am going to tell you about the multiplication of one digit number with 11. So, I have multiplied 7 with 11. But you, you just look here, we have to follow here a, a method of tracks, not a traditional method. And in this method of tracks, what will we do? You just look here. Here, this 7 at the unit position. You just bring this 7 at the unit position down in the answer without making any change with it. Now in the next step, you just add this 7 with 0. While adding 7 with 0, we get 7. Now just bring this 7 down in the answer. And this is our answer. Our answer is 77. So we haven't multiplied any digit with 11 we have just done this by the process of addition in the next step i'm gonna tell you about the multiplication of two digit number with 11. here i have multiplied a two digit number with 11. our two digit number is 37. while multiplying 37 with 11 we will follow the same procedure as i have mentioned you earlier and in this procedure this 7 at the unit position just bring the 7 down in the answer without making any change with with it and in the next step we will add the 7 with 3 while adding 7 with 3 we get 10 but now the process of addition hasn't yet finished so we have we have to bring the zero down in the answer we haven't to bring the stin hole down in the answer because the process of addition hasn't yet finished so we have to bring the zero down in the answer and we have to keep this one as carry digit now in the next step we have to add this three with zero while adding three with zero we get three but we have one as the carry digit so we have to add this one with the uh, number with the digit three while adding 3 with 1 we get 4 now just bring this 4 down in the answer and we have got our answer our answer is 407 now in the next step i have multiplied a three digit number with 11 you just look here you look to the multiplication of three digit number and our three digit number is 437 while multiplying 400 437 with 11 the same procedure will be followed as we have mentioned earlier and in this procedure we will bring the 7 at the unit position down in the answer without making any change with it now in the next step we will add the 7 with 3 while adding 7 with 3 we get 10 but don't don't bring this 10 hole down in the answer just bring zero down in the answer and keep the one as carry digit now in the next step we have to add this 3 with 4 while adding 3 with 4 we get 7 and we have the carry one now add the 7 with the carry one we get add now bring this add down in the answer and in the next step we will add 4 with 4 with 0 we will add 4 with 0 while adding 4 with 0 we get 4 and we have no the k we have no carry digit so we have to bring this 4 down in the answer and this is the answer our answer is 48007 now in the next step i have multiplied a four digit number with 11 and in this process we can multiply a number with a higher with higher digits with 11 we will follow the same procedure so in this step you look to the next now you just look here, we have multiplied a four digit number with 11. The four digit number is 9459. So while multiplying this four digit number with 11, same procedure will be followed again. Now in this process, 
we have to bring this 9 at the unit position down in the answer. And in the next step, we have to add this 9 with 5. While adding 9 with 5, we get 14. But don't bring this 14 as a whole down in the answer. But just bring this 4 down in the answer and keep 1 as the carry digit. Now in the next step, add 5 with 4. While adding 5 with 4, we get 9. But we have the carry 1. So we have to add this 9 with the carry 1. While adding this, we get 10. But don't bring this 10 as a whole down in the answer. You just bring 0 at the unit position in the answer and you keep 1 as the carry digit. Now in the next step, you add this 4 with 9. While adding 4 with 9, we get 13. But we have the carry 1. So we have to add 13 with the carry 1. While adding 13 with 1, we get 14. But in this step, also don't bring this 14 as a whole in the answer. Just bring 4 at the unit position in the answer and keep 1 as the carry digit. We have one, one step remaining. We have one step one step to do more. So in this step, we have, you look, we have to add 9 with 0. Or we have to bring this 9 down in the answer. And if we have any carry digit, we have to add this carry digit with this as well. So we have 9 and we have 1 as the carry digit. So we have to add this 9 with 1. And in this manner, by adding 9 with 1, we get 10. So now this 10, we have no uh, we have no digit to add. No process of addition remains yet. So we have to bring this 10 in the answer. And our answer is, um, you can see, uh, 104049. So this is our answer. So now we have finish the process of multiplication and you can do this type of multiplication with five digit number, six digit number and so on and so forth. So in today's lecture, it is enough for today. Till next lecture, I'll say Khuda Hafiz to you. But if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel for watching my upcoming video. Till next lecture, it is Khuda Hafiz and Assalamu Alaikum.